Hey, what's going on everybody? Scott Gaming here. Thank you very much for joining us. As you can see, we're about to start playing a new game. This game is called Nantucket. Now, I've had this game for a little while. Got sent a key for it, so thank you very much to the developers for that. Um, I've never quite got around to playing it. However, it did always interest me. The only thing that stopped me from playing it maybe a little bit was purely the amount of text that was on the screen. Um, but uh, the, the concept really appealed to me. Essentially, you are a whaling crew. Set in the time of Moby Dick. Um, and... Uh, you're looking to make as much money as you can, really, and go about um, hunting whales. So I thought we'd give this a go. Um, we get to name our captain. So obviously we're going to be Captain Scott Dog. Um, so this is our character. Can't change their portrait. We can choose one skill. So hunters are men without fear, born to chase their prey. They can stand on a whale boat, bow, sailing towards danger on the face of the wickedest pirate without hesitation. Sailors, variant, ex valiant explorers who spend their lives at sea. Be the vessel a majestic galleon or a whaleboat or a simple board. They know how to keep it afloat. Um, science. Scientists are investigators of the natural world. The curiosity, also curiosity and competence can unlock the sea's mysteries and secrets and above all, save lives on the ships. Craftsmen are expert artisans who can specialise in all of the ship's practical errands. They are hand their hands are surely the dirtiest and most useful at sea. Um, I'm a captain. I'm going to go with sailing, I think. Uh, and then we get to choose our trait. We can either be smart, strong, or we can click on these for more information. Smart, one extra point to spend, two damage against sea creatures, 50% HP regained, one HP per level, one HP per day of navigation. This might not be bad if we're going to be sailing. Let's do this. Okay, so we've chosen the open-minded trait. Uh-huh. Right, let's get started. Oh, I think I clicked on the tutorial. We'll, we'll do the tutorial. Actually, I've, I've watched the tutorial. We won't, we won't do the tutorial. We don't need it. Here we go. Dinky harpooners, drink and swear. Ye men that man the death for whale boats bow. Death to Moby Dick. God hunt us all if we do not hunt Moby Dick to his death. Well, we really doesn't like Moby Dick. Holy crap. Cursed be the man that trusteth in man, and maketh flesh his arm. I was cursed. Twice. By the Lord for my blasphemous promise to hunt Moby Dick, and by Ahab for surviving the Pequod and its sons, swallowed by the sea. I was craving to conquer my spot in heaven by striking my iron in Moby Dick's heart. So I headed back to Nantucket, looking for a new ship and wealth-seeking sailors. Okay, so it sounds like if that was us, we had hunted Moby Dick before and failed miserably. And now we're looking to do the same again. So there's a few things we can do. We're in town, we're in, the, we're in Nantucket. Uh, we have our ship up here. Our ship is called the Melville. The Melville don't think we can change the name unfortunately which is a bit disappointing um, so we've got a rotten sloop we've got a thousand big ones in our pockets uh, we can look at upgrading certain things so we could look to upgrade the captain's cabin um, which isn't upgradable but it would give us extra money from oil and blubber uh, we can potentially upgrade um, the the hammocks to give extra XP, hp when resting uh, sailing speed sounds like it might be a good one uh, stoves for plus morale and so on and so forth we can kind of upgrade a lot of stuff harpoons can increase damage uh, and cannons we can't put on our tiny little boat um, but we'll cancel this for now because the next thing we want to do is come over here and find some crew so at the moment there's just me captain scud dog over here my prestige is four i've got a thousand cash in my pocket and i can sail so i'm looking I'm looking for some other people who to do the other jobs. So like we've got cabin boys. Now, I think cabin boys can become some of these other skills. But we need to find people who can, 
who can hunt, who can uh, craft, and who can uh, do some first aid for us. Now, we only allowed up to a maximum of four prestige. Um, one, minus one morale per crew member on the ship, excluding himself. So he's going to lose morale fairly quickly. Um, who else have we got? The only other one we can get is Earl, weak trait, minus two. So I think we're going to have to go for Richard. He can fasten, games fasten against the crease here, damage plus add bleeding. Hmm. So this is this is their hunting die or their combat die. So at the moment you can see he's got three sides of the dice which will do damage and then he's got one which will fasten. Um, so I think we probably want to hire him. He's going to take 4% of our earnings. Um... And he's got basing working attributes of two. So I think we're going to get this guy here. We're then going to look for a crafter. Now we can only get a level one crafter. He's skeptical. Plus 50% morale for crew members' deaths. And sloppy, 100% uh, minus 100% morale effect of the food. So he doesn't get any benefit from having food. But he's the only one we can hire right now. And then we've got these guys. So... Uh, swimmer trait when tree in retreat and he can't be targeted and then we've got old sea dog plus 50 hp regained and plus one working attribute so i think this guy vernon seems like a good option so we've hired vernon we just need one more guy over here and i it's got to be jesse it's got to be jesse okay let's get him in so we've got our full prestige we're up to maximum we've got our free sailors and our captain we're ready to go. We need to come down here uh, and we can read the newspaper. Uh, George IV is new king of the United Kingdom, Great Britain and Ireland. Russian sloop Vostok claims to have sighted the ice sheet of Terra Australis and Portuguese forces defeat Uruguayan independence in there. <laughs> okay, so we get to choose a quest. Discover a new whaling area. So we can, um, we can head towards the, the whaling area at Baffin Bay and we'll get paid 200 big ones for doing it. So we're going to do that. It's 16 days away. So now we need to buy some resources to get us there and back. Um, so we can buy some food. The good news is we didn't have to pay any money to, uh, to get those people on our ship. The pro promise is that we will, um, we will allow them to take some of the profits of what we make. Um, so I'm just going to stock up a little bit. I'm not going to go overboard because we know it's only going to take us... Let's get to 100 for everything, I think. Just to cover us. That's going to be 575 big ones. We will take it. Um, back to the ship, right? I think what I want to do... There's, there's, either, there's either this, which is 8% of sailing speed. That means we're going to need less food, less water, less grog. Or there's this, which is increase our harpoon's damage. Um, but I think we're going to start off slow. So let's go with the speed one, I think. It's going to take 90 days and cost us 200. Um, take no days complete, then come back to finalise the research and upgrade the related compartment. Okay, so we know that that's going to be the case there. So I think we're ready to go. We took our job. We've accepted this. We could accept this one, but we don't meet all of the requirements. We need to be level 7. So we can head down here and we can go to sail away. Okay. So, we're going to have to go and find this hunting area. I assume hunt what's ever there. You can see that we are down here. You can see on the map we have um, the prevailing winds. And they look like they're heading in the right direction. Um, so, we want to go to this quest, which is up here. Uh, we also want to turn this on to show the whale filter, I guess. But we want to keep the... We want to keep that on. Okay, so there's two things. You can shift right click to take us on a various trip of our journey. Uh, or we can just click on it. Um, so if I get rid of this and just click on it, it's going to take 14 days. Um, if I click over here, it's going to take 16 days. So let's uh, let's just go straight there. 14 days off we go so here's our little here's our little ship we're sailing off no prevailing winds i presume we have to be in this directly but it didn't seem to benefit us too much we're just heading off straight off we're in the uh, north atlantic ocean 
can center our ship using this. Over here, we can see our actual crew. So at the moment, we've got Richard um, steering the ship, I think. I think we can swap these guys around. So now we've got me steering the ship, and I get XP, I think, for navigating. I don't know if this is navigating or if this is navigating. Crow's Nest. I'm not entirely sure which one is which. We've got Grog, uh, the cargo over here, and we've got people in the the, the, the hammocks over here. Okay, fish, fin ahoy, your lookout yells as he spots the fin in the distance. Maybe the whale sighting rumours about this area are true. Lower the whale boats and check the area. Okay, so let's just close this for a second. Looks like you've discovered a new whaling area, but your presence made it. The creature's nervous. You order your men to prepare to fight. Okay. We're one day late getting there. Um, victory conditions. Kill all the enemies in the combat area. So we want um, Richard. Definitely want Richard. We want... What do your dice do? Smooth rowing. We want me, because I've got protective maneuvers. And then you've got, like, first aid, I think. But let's go with... Yeah, let's go with first aid as well. So, we've assigned our crew to our whale boat. We've got Richard, who we're looking to do the damage. We've got me, who we're looking to get out of the way. And we've got you down here, able to do first aid. Okay. We are up against a narwhal. A newborn narwhal. Windy, slight sea. Object dice sides won't enable. I don't know what this means. Um, but as we can see... The narwhal is going to, I assume, attack me. I assume that's why that's there. Um, so we want to roll everybody's dice. I'm going to set you to roll damage. You're going to roll damage. Here we go. So the only person who got anything, as you can see where the dice landed, is me. So we want to protective maneuver myself. Is that how it works? Immune. Okay, so he, he hit... Richard, Richard's now bleeding, which isn't great. Um, crew members damage plus 20%. So we want to roll again. And again, this time I think we're going to swap you and have you. Here we go. Okay, so you can fasten. And you can first aid. Well, let's fasten over here. We hit the, uh, the narwhal for 10 damage. It only had three. Um, bleeding resisted, fastening resisted because it's dead. Um... The waters churn and return to normal. You raise your arms in victory. Cries of the men surround you. Okay, so we uh, we got some prestige. We got some morale. We got some XP for this. We also got some blubber and some food. So we're going to take everything. Uh, we want to come to this menu over here and we want to make sure that uh, Richard is in here because that's where the healing's going to happen. Uh, which he is. And we can unpause this and we can start our journey back. Let's get going. We could explore a little bit more around here, but we've done our we've done our mission, as you can see. We've got the little tick next to it. I think that means we've succeeded in in completing. Um, let's have a little look at this, and we can see that. Um, how do we see food and stuff? Two barrels of blubber. We've got five food. 101 days we've got 70 so we've got lots of stuff you see the food going down there um, but we're just kind of trickling back to Nantucket we discovered the thing we were supposed to do and we can go back and claim our rewards for doing so and as you can see there's lots of areas that we could sail to working shoulder to shoulder with your men you've come to appreciate the sailing experience so much that you've unintentionally started to copy his movements his bodily walks his bodily walks on the ship like he was on the mainland if the ship was not moving at all um, it's fine as long as I can be a better captain I don't want to think he's in charge so I can either <laughs> I can either get I don't know if this is I can get 80% of the old if these are chances of whether I'm going to get old sea dog or seasick let's find out so we got old sea dog so I'm presuming we could have got uh, the other trait there but we didn't so not a problem two days late back um, but we got plenty of food so not a problem it's 1820 and we are entering the harbor so here we are we're back in nantucket uh, we paid our crew seven dollars and we kept 48 richard is back healed which is all good uh, and we can come to the newspaper and we can get the reward so there we go um so I think if we come over here, we can see that uh, we can buy some 
buy some more gold, some more food and grog and various other things. Um, we could come over here. We've got five prestige, so we could get rid of one of these guys and bring in someone new, but I don't think that's going to be worthwhile. I think what we're going to do is just start sailing and head to a different port and on the way see what we encounter. So over here is Horto. I think we can sail this way. 14 days to go. We're just going to head out and see what we come across. You never know what we might find around this area. So, And I assume down this way we might find uh, pirates and stuff. But um, we're just going to head out over here. See what we can do. See if we come across. So there are like little things that happen. I mean we could have stopped up here. Um, we could have stopped up here and, and just done some more hunting. You can kind of drop anchor and wait. Um, but... Um, it feels like just getting a few little missions on and doing some of the uh, doing some of the bits and pieces we need to do. So we didn't pay anyone anything because we couldn't find anything. But we are going to read the newspaper. Okay, let's have a look at the jobs. So um, various ships will report the presence of large quantities of whales in Buffon Bay. It could be a new hunting area. Well, I'm pretty sure we've already done that. That's just where we were. So let's get sailing again. I think we've got enough food and stuff just to head straight out there. Because um, Buffin Bay, we know, is up here. Baffin Bay. So we're gonna we're gonna do our little journey again, just straight straight up this time. We can speed time up. What does this show us? This shows us our Oh, we're sailing through a storm, but we're just we're just sailing on through, look. Oh, look up here. So we need to head here, look, I think. I take it that's where our mission is. Yeah, right at the top. So we're avoiding the icebergs. Fin ahoy! Okay, we are ready. Kill all the enemies present. So we want to assign... Oh, we want to use the last used again. We're good to go. So this is a bowhead whale, a newborn Okay, so it's going to charge us two damage to the target creature and adds an overboard status. So it's going to aim at one of us and they're going to go overboard if it hits. Um, so we want to definitely have you on this. I'm guessing we want you on this. Let's give everybody this and roll. So we've got, we've got three damage. That's not enough. So we're going to do three damage to it. And it's going to hit Richard and Richard is overboard. How do we save Richard? I don't know. Um, can't issue command. So we're going to have to keep with this. I don't know how. I don't know how we we managed to get him back. So I think we're going with combat again. We didn't hit him. He's going to hit us and we're going to be overboard as well. This is not good news. So the whale is stunned, which is good. Um, Richard is back on board. We're off board. Off board? We're not on board right now. Okay. Let's uh, do first aid with you. We've got enough to kill it, which I think we have to take. There we go. So the whale's dead. We took some damage. We're going to collect all of the blubber, blubber and food, which is good. Um, and then we're going to close this. Now, could we potentially... We can't hunt whales while we're here. We could drop the anchor. But it doesn't... doesn't look like we can... We can hunt or anything while we're here. So we could head back down here. And do our... Return our mission. Um, working show show one of your men. You notice he's a very solitary man. He prefers to be alone after his shifts and only speaks to his shipmates if it's necessary to perform a task. Spend some time with him and see if you can encourage him to be more sociable. We can either 50-50% um, that someone's going to get the either the trait added or removed. It's none of my business. I don't mind about people being solitary. They're only on a boat. I wouldn't want to see everybody all the time. It'd be so annoying. Oh, oh. Okay, working, what are the chances? Working shoulder to shoulder with one of your men, you come to appreciate his work ethic so much that you unintentionally start copying his attitude. Um, so we could either become diligent or lazy. Let's go with it. Diligent trait added. 
Let's him assign a working point skill. Nice. So we could add more points to what we're doing. And I think we're going to go with another sailing. Um, I don't know how that helps. But that's what we're doing. So let's keep going. We've discovered our bowhead whale up here. And we're just heading back to Horta to, to drop off the, uh, the mission. Uh, so we've got 136 gold. Which is nice. Um, we can come to the newspaper and get our reward, which is 200 big ones. We can go to the shop and we can buy enough food to get us to 100 days. There we go. Lovely. We can come in here and we can have a look. So we're now at Prestige 6, so we could upgrade someone. Jesse. Jesse, Jesse, Jesse. What have we got here? So when we get rid of you, we'll get one back. So the way this works is we can have up to our maximum of our prestige, the levels of our sailors. Obviously, Rich is level two, Vern is level one. So it leaves two points at the moment. If we get rid of Jesse, it leaves three. And then we could look at maybe getting a new one. So healthy trait, one XP per level and decreases your food consumption by 10%. That sounds like quite a good option. Oh, but we've just gone down. By one, oh god, we've just gone down by one. Oh man, that is bad news. I didn't realize we we're gonna decrease in prestige when we fired someone. Rubbish. What about these? What do these guys do? Can I rehire you? I can. Okay, fine, we'll have you back. Sorry, Jesse, I made a terrible mistake. Um, never thought I'd ever say that. Right, <laughs> jobs. There isn't any more jobs in the paper here. We know there's no real jobs in the... Um, we know there's no real jobs in the paper at um, Nantucket. So we could look at sailing somewhere else. Um, let's have a little look at the map. See what we can find. So we could head off to Porterhead. Peterhead, sorry. Uh, we could head over and just have a little wander around. See what we find. Um... Should we go to Peterhead? Why not? Peterhead it is. 20 days. We're going to sail there and we're going to put a cut in the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Please hit the like button, subscribe button, follow us on Twitter at Scott.Gaming. We'll see you again soon. Thank you.